I'm a light jumpation. The lies of the time we waste. Do we realize all the pain we face? We throw a cup of in the libation. My gosh, we waste. Sympathize of the lies we waste. Art that is limitless in its expression, in all its forms. And that's what an Afrofuture is. There's always a certain doubt and fear that people have on African creatives and, and a limit on what they think we can produce. It became a beautiful mission to not only prove that we can make that art, but we can make it better than what you see in the rest of the world. It's been beautiful being on stage with all you beautiful people. It's been beautiful looking to the side of me and seeing people who look like me and seeing us play this music that we love. I know Australia hasn't seen anything like this. Yep. Yeah. Probably won't see it for a while. <laughs> so when you go on stage, have that in mind. You're making history. Yeah. You're showing something that has never been seen. Yes. Black people who are looking at you in the crowd right now are like, wow, we can do that. Yeah. Yeah. So carry that with you. Today is about celebration. Yeah. We did this thing. Yeah. So let's say Afro Future on three. One, two, three. Afro Future! So 2020 would have been when the pandemic just hit. Whew, it was not good times. The world stopped, shows canceled, tours canceled. As a musician, you're in a space where you're like, this artistry that I fought so hard for is gone, and you now have to figure out what your identity is past being a musician. It's a really hard time, like a musical depression, really. The pandemic is a hectic thing, man. When it started, my dad got COVID, and for me, it was straight up, I got to go home. Got to take care of my family, make sure everybody's OK. Then I couldn't get back in. I tried, and I tried, and I couldn't, and it got to a point where I was like, you know what? I'm supposed to be here. Here being Zambia, where I'm from. <laughs> I've never been Sampa the Great in Zambia. That's never been a thing. Being an, a black artist in Australia was, was such a huge role to take up on for myself. And I definitely stepped into many um, ambassadorial shoes <laughs> where I, I wanted to make sure that I'm representing my community well, where I'm from, uh, the woman I come from really well. And at some point it took a huge weight on me where I felt like I wasn't being my freest self. When I went back home, all that armor just started falling off of me. And I got to be an ambassador for Sampa. And I was able to reconnect with my people and finally feel whole. And when I got home, it was like, okay, I don't have to represent being African and Zambian, we are all, <laughs> everybody here is. And then it slowly started to pick up. I, I guess my, my mentality was, what fun can I bring back into making music right now? With Lane, the newest music that I've just released, I was like, I'm going to take a different direction and show the freer side of myself. Lane is about not being put into one box. I'm going to show you all of Sampa, no holds barred, no limits, without any preconceived ideas of what you think of me. Oh, look at that now. You say, say your name. You sick and I had wine. Thinking you're the better. Something amazing happened to me last year. In the midst of all the pandemic thing, I got to find this amazing band. 
a Zambian band that I found in Lusaka, the capital city of Zambia. The producer I was working with on the new music was like, hey, I know some musicians who are really hungry, who are passionate, and I saw them perform and my jaw dropped. These are the most creative musicians like I've come across. To be able to see artists recreate my music in the way it was intended was something like, something beautiful. So with the musicians, we're making music that's coming from the source. We're not trying to recreate the music, it's already there. And then just seeing them play live, like I'm so proud of them. What a blessing and privilege it is to perform because this doesn't happen to Zambian musicians. Like touring internationally is not a thing. So to be able to experience these monumental moments with them, yeah, it's perfect. I'm Sam for the Great, and we are currently existing in an Afro future.